Hey guys, today we're going I'm going to be doing a video on how I straightened my hair and uh, throughout most of the video I kind of fast forwarded after like a little bit <clears throat> just so my video didn't take too long um, so yeah the things that I used in this video um, pretty much the only product I used was this flat iron heat protectant special flex special effects flat iron um, heat protectant and then I just used a whole bunch of hair clips and I used a few hair scrunchies um, and then I showed you my flat iron in the video so um, this is pretty much my end result I really hope you guys enjoy so let's All go, right, ahead, let's and go ahead and get started um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and detangle my hair Sorry. Um, the next step is to apply a heat, a heat protectant. Um, and I will be listing everything that I use down below. But this is basically the only actual product I'm using on my hair right now. So, just kind of... Let that sit for a few seconds. Now while that sits, I'm just going to explain something to you guys real quickly. Um, I think I already mentioned this, but I'm going to say it again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to section off one layer. Um, section off a layer. I'm going to show you a few strands that I'm going to straighten. And I'm just going to fast forward through the rest. So, yeah. Um, now I'm just going to brush it out one more time. Just to uh, evenly distribute it. And now I'm going to section off my hair. So what I like to do to section off my hair is I like to make sure all of my hair is kind of combed back, not like to the side or anything. So then I'll take from about right, right about there, both sides, and go all the way around. Section that off. And you can either tie or clip or both like I do because I have really thick, coarse hair. So, the better the hold, the easier it is. Just tie that and get that out of the way. And I'm just going to tie mine like that. And kind of clip on top to make sure none of the hair, sorry, gets... Then, um, I probably should have said this first, but make sure your flat iron is heated. Mine is the Chi Original. And this is actually my sister's. Mine broke. Um, it's down there. It's a, I have the Chi Nano, but, um, this is my sister and she kind of shares with me. So, yeah. And it doesn't have, like, a temperature set. You just turn it on and it automatically heats up. So, yes. Now what I'm going to do... Just gonna comb that layer out. Then what I actually like to do is I like to go ahead and split it down the middle. Let me kind of angle this down a little. And um, I like to start off with a thicker section. So whichever one according to me feels thicker, I like to grab that first. So. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to clip up one side. I just like, I don't like hair all over my face when I'm straightening, so. Kind of just gather it. Oops, a little too high up. Um, and clip it down. So that way it doesn't get in the way when you are straightening and it just kind of fell out there it's okay I use a lot of clips so 
yeah, be warned. Okay, that was really weird. My thingy just went out. Hold on. I don't even know what just happened there. Whatever. Um. Now, I'm going to comb it out. Now, what I do to make sure, um, to check and see if my flat iron is heated is I just grab the flat iron and I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to burn myself or anything. But I'll take a little strand of hair and I'll just run it through, touch my hair. Uh, does it feel hot enough? Yeah, then I'll go ahead and straighten. If not, I will wait for it to heat up a little more. Now, uh, what I do when I straighten my hair is, unlike most girls that I've seen uh, who straighten, how they straighten their hair, they always start from the front. But I like to start from the back because I feel it's easier that way. So I'll just take about this thick of a section and either you can clip it up, which is what I normally do, or you can just find a way to... You can leave it there, you can do whatever you want with the hair, but like I said, I like to keep all the hair out of my face, um, especially because I like strict, strict, stick straight hair, um, I want to make sure all the attention goes to that piece that I'm working on. So I'm just splitting that section into smaller sections, and I'm going to start from way up at the top and slowly pull down. And I'll, I will go over it a few times before I feel it's good. I'm going to try zooming you in here. I don't know why my little remote thing does this. Okay, hold on. Just a little, just so you guys can see a little better, but it's not too close. I'll run over it quite a bit of times. Last time I filmed this, I was wearing a black shirt, and you couldn't see my hair. So, this time I'm wearing a lighter shirt. So, that's basically all I do. Um, now, I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of the video, because my hair takes quite the while. So... Yeah. Just gonna finish off this section real quickly for you guys. Let's go ahead and do the rest.
straightening it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I took a lot of time editing this video, actually. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.